And we're going to take our viewers now live uh, to Canberra, where Anthony Albanese is speaking. We'll have more updates on China's military parade uh, next hour for you. But let's take a listen in to the Prime Minister. Skill, tenacity and courage are embodied in this fine Australian, inspiring so many Australians through his own cancer journey after being diagnosed with glioblastoma, an aggressive form of brain cancer, in 2023. In the face of that, he's carried on his work, his advocacy and his leadership. The courage he has shown is an inspiration to all of us, whether you've met him, worked with him or seen his story on TV. Professor Scoyer was the first in the world to receive an experimental treatment approach adapted from his own melanoma immunotherapy research, becoming both a patient and a research subject. He has received treatment at the Chris O'Brien Lifehouse. Today's announcement means Australia can continue to stay at the forefront of the fight against cancer. We can continue to train the world's best researchers and we can continue this important work. Professor Scalia, mm -hmm. thank you for what you do. Uh, thank you for uh, getting to know each other. We had a uh, chat about this uh, last week. And this is a, a legacy of Professor Scalia uh, that will be uh, there for a long period of time at the Chris O'Brien Lifehouse that makes such an enormous difference. Uh, I've been there both to look at it as someone uh, who... Welcome to Newsday. This is the Prime Minister in his uh, courtyard of Parliament announcing the new Richard Scalia Chair in Brain Cancer Research at the Chris O'Brien Lifehouse. Professor Scolia is in attendance at the Australian of the Year, along with Mark Butler. Uh, you can see in the corner of your screen this grand military parade, an extraordinary show of military strength by China and uh, the second most powerful leader in the world in Xi Jinping. Alongside him, some tyrants, uh, Putin, uh, Kim Jong-un and former Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews. We'll get more analysis uh, on that as it goes to air live. But in the meantime, let's go back to the Prime Minister. No doubt he'll be asked about the presence of Daniel Andrews there in Beijing. Let's have a listen in. Happy to take questions about this and then happy to take other questions as well. Professor. Well, thank you very much, Mr Prime Minister. Um, Australia does have problems with cancer, particularly brain cancer. It's the, the commonest cancer causing death in less than 40-year-olds in Australia. So we need to do more about it if we're going to improve outcomes. And basically, it's at present an incurable disease. Uh, I think back and think about our work in, in melanoma, and we have changed outcomes in that disease. For people with stage four advanced melanoma, its survival was the same as brain cancer 15 years ago. But now, through great discoveries that we've made here in Australia with colleagues overseas, it's now about 60% for stage 4 disease. So we've got to try and push things forward in brain cancer. It's, as I say, more people die of brain cancer than die of melanoma, and we know that as one of Australia's national cancers. The... Um, that the Chris O'Brien was someone who had a big impact on my career growing up. Um, he mentored me, we researched together, we did a lot of things. And then for him to get brain cancer when I was an up-and-coming doctor in the field and the, the mentorship he gave me impacted my, my life. And him to, to end up getting brain cancer and passing away from it and then to follow in his footsteps many years down the track has been... Um, well, heartbreaking, but for me also an opportunity to try and work with some great people to push the field forward and see if we can improve outcomes in brain cancer like we have in many other cancers. Thank you. Thanks, Richard. Yeah. Thank Please. you, Prime Minister. <clears throat> Thank you, Richard. Well, it's a great pleasure and an honour to be able to speak a little bit today here. Um, uh, Richard and his beautiful wife, Katie, and I <clears throat> became really quite close friends last April when we decided what can we do to leverage off your illness as you have done with Chris, as Chris did, to, to do good for people. And um, so we, we talked about a chair in brain cancer associated with Sydney University and Royal Prince Alfred Hospital, which is a powerhouse in medicine. 
and uh, but it, a chair has to be located at a particular hospital, so at the Chris O'Brien uh, Life House. So that's how, how it has originated. Um, I was insistent it needed to be called the Professor, Professor Richard Scullier Chair. He has been resistant to that, but we might have to do it behind his back. So um, thank you very much for attending, Prime Minister and Health Minister. I'm very grateful for this day. Thank you. Thanks.